Hey everyone, it's Charlene. I'm doing something a little bit different today. I'm going to give you a tour of my craft room. So hopefully I don't shake the camera too bad or make anyone dizzy. So I am super lucky to have this beautiful room. And you can see right when you first come in, I've got this large desk and then a wraparound with lots of extra storage. I like to have everything out in the open where I can see it. So I use a lot of bins and I'm going to link down in the description um, to what I think most people have questions about. But if you have questions about products that you don't see linked, let me know. You could see down underneath my desk there that is where my dog spends most of his time. But this is my main setup. This is where I do all of my recording and my editing. I have a tempered glass top on my desk, which is really nice. It makes cleanup very easy. And then most of you that have seen my videos will recognize my blue mat that I use to do all of my projects on. You can see I've got a couple of different lights here. I haven't found a great solution yet for recording, but I work with what I've got here. And then I keep just a little notebook here next to my desk. That's where I list all of my plans for videos and deadlines and things like that. And then this is my little caddy that I actually made where I keep all of my most used tools. And then I have my pens and other notebooks I need. And on my wall there, I have my heat tool as well as my heat gun. I have those on little command clips, which are super helpful. Up here, I've got three little storage bins. There's my spray rubbing alcohol that I use all of the time. And then this is my stamping bin. Keep my chamois and paper towels, baby wipes, microfiber cloth, all of that good stuff. So it's right in easy reach. Up here, I just have some little collectible Cricut cuties that I collect. And here you can see I have a secondary mat. I use this kind of as a staging area a lot of the time. And my two sets of blending brushes. I use one for dye inks and one for hybrid inks. So this is mostly for my Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated inks and then my Distress Oxides got my ink swatches there so they're in easy reach. These are my Copic markers. I love this little acrylic organizer. It's great. I keep all kinds of things that I reach for frequently in here. This is where all of my um, double-sided tape and little foam squares and things like that hang out. And I use this a lot as well. Lots of things that I grab frequently are in here. Pastes and inks and post-it tape and all kinds of fun stuff. And then you can see over here, I have my ink and cutting area, I guess. Got my die cutting machine, my Cricut, as well as my scan and cut. And then you can see my ink storage here. These are from Organize More. It took quite a while for me to get these. Um, they are taking a long time to ship and they're pretty pricey in my opinion, but they are great. Um, you can set them on your desk or you can adhere them to the wall, which is what I've done with some wall anchors. And um, I just love seeing the rainbow of everything. And I really like 
the Simon Says Stamp inks because they're already labeled on the side, which is great. And then you can see at the end there is where I keep like my black inks and my embossing inks and things like that. So I've got some room for more stamps or for more ink pads. All right, coming around here, always important. I've got some music as well as a pencil sharpener. That pencil sharpener gets used all the time by my kiddos in particular. And then my little filing bin. I keep my scrapbook and cards magazine there as well as any cards that I'm kind of are works in progress. I will oftentimes keep them there. This is where I keep my paper packs as well as my um, stamp and die storage envelopes that are ready to go. My large acrylic block. But back here you can see my paper pads, my pattern papers. These are all the six by sixes I have. I have a lot of 12 by 12 too, you'll see. Um, my die cutting plates, embossing plates, things like that. And then some specialty papers like watercolor paper and alcohol ink papers, things like that. My gel, my gel plate, some backup misty um, grid paper there. And then next to that, I have these little drawers. These are kind of hard to open, um, but they are, especially one-handed, <laughs> but they are pretty inexpensive, which is nice. So I keep mostly all of my sequins and confetti mixes and things like that in here. And then I have this piece that was from Michael's. I've hung on to it. Um, it's not super sturdy, but it's great for organizing 12 by 12 paper. So you can see I have all of those there. And then what I really like about this setup is I can put a lot of my tools. So I have my sliding paper cutter, as well as my score buddy here. And then on top, I keep my big paper cutter. Here I have um, this cart. His name is Crafty, the cart. <laughs> he houses all of my kiddos craft supplies. So there's crayons and markers and paints and paintbrushes and blank paper and all kinds of different stuff. A million pairs of scissors, tape, glue, all that good stuff. And up here you can see I have these cute little shelves. This is where I keep my recent card makes so I can Sort of have them on display to look at. Coming back down over here, I have uh, two printers. One that's a regular printer and then the other I've converted for sublimation printing. And then I keep kind of my bigger storage items on that shelf there. This these boxes are my storage boxes. So I keep a lot of like um, mementos and keepsakes as well as kind of um, like blank t-shirts and blank ornaments and things like that. These are pretty inexpensive, which is nice. They just fold down flat. Now you can see I've got like cricket stuff and t-shirts and things that I might need. Mugs and um, shadow boxes and all kinds of good stuff. Ooh, sorry if I made anyone dizzy. And then this is my main storage. 
This is where I keep my monthly card kits. So it's easy for me to see what I have. I can just flip through and I always put that inspiration page right at the front so I can see what's in the bag. And these guys are empty. And then once I fill up the bin, then I'll move everything over into my regular craft items. I use these iris cases a lot. You can see there, I just label them on the front and then I include everything in there that relates to that. So like party foil, foil paper, cardboard, craft board, chipboard, wood, felt, leather, all that good stuff. And then I keep all of my Cricut markers here. These are my alcohol inks. And my distress sprays. These were actually ink pad storage boxes, but I took all the inserts out and I use them now for other types of storage. So these are all my backup adhesives. This is where I keep my ink pad holders. And then here I keep a lot of different stuff. I keep my Copic multi-liners, all of my small ink pads. These are all distress. And then at the end, I have others that I've collected. These are from Hero Arts and Concord and Ninth. Stamping foam. And then I keep miscellaneous markers in these, like one has my Distress Ink markers. One of these has um, like backup, um, uh, what are they called? Quickie glue pens and things like that. And then in this bag, I keep all of my Copic marker refills. This is my card bin where I keep all of the cards that I've made. Once it fills up, I donate a lot of cards, um, but I use this for sending out cards to friends and family and crafty buddies. And then every once in a while, once it's kind of jam packed, I will send a box to donate the cards to different programs. This is my heat embossing bin and alcohol ink bin. I keep all of my stuff that I use for heat embossing and alcohol inks in there. And then I have more crafty storage. So like sticker paper, vellum, acetate, glitter paper, pattern paper, and then um, all of my iron-on as well as permanent and removable and stencil vinyl. So I cut mine all down to 12 by 12 sheets. You can kind of see there is a ton in one bin and I keep them in order by color and type inside of those bins, which is super handy. I've got my paper shredder and there's the pup. He's gone back to his normal little post. My trash can is under here. And then to the left of my work, work area, I keep my stamps. I have two bins here. And I keep my stamps, dies, and stencils all in one um, organization style. They're all in here background stamps, doesn't matter what it is. And I just label it with the company 
and then the name, and then I keep it first alphabetized by company, second by product name. I've got my mini trimmer and my long rulers. There's more stamps and dies and stencils. If it's a set, you can see how I put the stamp and the stencil then, or excuse me, the die on the back there. And then this guy is really helpful. I keep a lot of little random kinds of things in here. This is where I keep my stamps and backup little foam daubers and Cricut foil. And I also keep a box full of alcohol wipes. I use those frequently to clean stuff. My scissors, they work really well to get the little yuckies off of my scissors. And then you can see over here, this is my seven-year-old's little crafty station. And up here I keep little things from my kiddos as well as cards that I have received in the mail from Crafty Buddies. It's nice to be able to look over and see those there. And then this is my photography station. You can see I have my backdrop set up here right next to the natural light. It makes it much easier to take pictures. And I've got a couple of props and things in my splat box down there. Over here, I have a very exciting box of goodies. This little sneak peek in there. That is for a giveaway that I'm doing right now for hitting 3,000 subscribers, which is super exciting. So if you're interested in entering that, it is open until Friday, February 18th at 11.59 Pacific time. You can head over to my Instagram at dreamcraft create and here's my backup or not backup but my additional boards that are in different colors and things like that for my photography i think that's everything i'll do kind of one more circle around here it's a very happy space oh down there i have the new glimmer which i will be playing with very soon. And there's everything. Oh, this is a fun thing I've done here. I've just put some clips on the end of my desk. And this is where I hang all of my Cricut mats and my scan and cut mat makes it so much easier and they're out of the way. All right, everybody, if you guys have any questions, Put them down in the comments. I'll be trying to respond to them as soon as possible. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. And until next time, happy crafting.